Today we're going to meet the author Leo Tolstoy. Leo Tolstoy was born on August 28, 1828 in Russia's Tula province, Yasnia, Polonia. Now he was the fourth out of five children and his family was of old Russian nobility. In fact, they had titles. His mother's name was Countess Maria Tolstaya and father was Count Nikolai Ilyich Tolstoy. Soon after his birth, the family moved to Moscow, but his father died shortly after the move. So in 1844, Leo Tolstoy studies at Kazan University. There he wasn't exactly the best of students. He spent a lot of his time drinking and gambling. So in 1851, after a stint in college, he joins the army with his brother, and this, at this point, is when he begins to write. Shortly after that, he marries Sofia Andreevna Bears, and he becomes well known in Russia for his writing. Now, as he grows and hits his big family, as you can see in the picture, he starts to become very religious. And the more religious and beloved he became by the country, the more his family felt that he wasn't working so much as a family member or a family unit anymore, but he was more giving himself over to his country. So the more religious and beloved he became, the more his family seemed to dislike him. And of course, that's going to make Tolstoy very depressed. So in 1910, he actually flees his home and family in search for peace while he's writing and in search for more religious peace. And of course, during his traveling, he dies at the age of 82. Now, he is a prolific writer, and some of the most famous works that Leo Tolstoy wrote were War and Peace, Anna Karenina, The Death of Ivan Ilyich, Haji Murad, Childhood, Boyhood, and Youth. Now, he wrote over 10 novels, 20 short stories, seven plays, four essays, and five nonfiction pieces. All of his works give a depiction from his life. He has a tendency to write himself into the play or into the story. What were some of Tolstoy's inspirations? Well, he was very philosophical, and one of the philosophers he liked the most was Jean-Jacques Rousseau. A lot of times he read Emile the Confessions, and he would read that again and again and take lots of inspiration from it. However, many other writers would influence him as well. Some of the themes you're going to see prevalent in his books as well would be death, war. Uh, he has a tendency to write a lot about complications with the wife of the story, which would be Yasna Pollyanna, and then, of course, his faith. As he becomes more religious in later years, faith becomes more of an underlying theme throughout. So what is it about that faith or about his religion? Well, he wrestled with spirituality as a child. He was originally rough and orthodox through his parents, but then he started criticizing the church and he was excommunicated over that. But it doesn't mean that he became anti-religion in any way. He was looking more into finding self-affirmment. And so he found Tolstoyism. And you can see one of his books, The Kingdom of God is Within You. Well, what is Tolstoyism? Well, when he begins to kind of think about how he can bring up his idea of faith and how he can share it with others, he meets a man by the name of Vladimir Chertkov. Now, they both work together to come up with the idea of Tolstoyism, and it's focused on Jesus' teachings and was especially inspired by the Sermon on the Mount. Like Jesus and his apostles, they thought in Tolstoyism you should live simply, you should abstain from tobacco and alcohol. You should practice chastity and vegetarianism. You should live by the principles of love, truth, and peace, and reject violence, and most times reject government principles. They have five specific rules in Tolstoyism that you should live by. You should love your enemy. Do not ever be angry. Don't fight evil with evil. Do not lust and do not take oaths.
Well, since they are fairly Christian theories, many people were inspired by the sense of Tolstoyism for years, even after his death. Matter of fact, one of the people inspired was Gandhi. He believed violence was morally wrong, and he, they wrote many letters to each other and became friends. And through Gandhi, Tolstoy inspired many more. And lastly, let's look at some quotes that we have for Tolstoy. Happy families are all alike. Every unhappy family is unhappy in its own way. All, everything that I understand, I understand only because I love. Art is not a handicraft. It is the transmission of feeling the artist has experienced. Everyone thinks of changing the world, but no one thinks of changing himself. Government is an association of men who do violence to the rest of us. In the name of God, stop a moment, cease your work, look around you. Faith is the sense of life, that sense by virtue of which man does not destroy himself, but continues to live on. It is the force whereby we live. Thanks so much for stopping by to learn more about Leo Tolstoy. If you liked what you saw here and like to learn more about Leo Tolstoy's works, please leave a comment down below about which ones you'd like to see next. And as always, I'd appreciate it if you subscribed.